Hello and welcome to this series on teaching maths to children in the year they start when they are four years old. That's reception class in England, it's pre-kindergarten in the US. I'm Rebecca the Maths Lady and I'm here to help you love your maths teaching and to make sure you know how to make every child in your class thrive with their maths. The first thing to say is that because reception class maths is so easy to grown-ups, people tend to assume it's easy to teach and it just isn't because we teach so much so young and young children's brains are fundamentally different to the brains they'll have when they're older. Most children have very poor short-term memory so they struggle to hold and manipulate information in their head and they have poor long-term memory. It's why children retain so few memories from before they're seven. They don't really retain information overnight and in the long term in the way that they will when they're older. So it's not simple for them to learn and they don't learn easily in the ways we would expect. So teaching maths this young is a real art form. Now in England, our curriculum races ahead really quickly. We do the numbers one to 20 in this year. And although we'll continue to cover the numbers one to 20 in the next couple of years, we are going on to the numbers to 100 when children are just five. So they've really got to nail this. Now, if you don't have a curriculum like that, if you have a curriculum that starts when children are seven, good for you, keep it. It's much better that way. That's what all the research says. But we are where we are because of the journey that our politicians have taken and we're stuck with it as teachers. So this course is for the reality of where we are. And if your curriculum isn't quite as bad as this, excellent. Sit back, relax, enjoy and know that this can be done and you don't have to do it this intensely. You can slow down, take it a bit easier and do more wider wonderful stuff with your kids instead of hammering them on so quickly with their maths. So this series is here to tell you very precisely about the learning journeys that children need to take this year to master the numbers to 20 and the other aspects of the curriculum. That means explaining the deep understanding the visual structures of number that are needed explaining how we get every child thinking independently for themselves. This course has been created with the benefit of all the research, but also with expert teachers on the ground over the last five years who've shared their understanding of precisely what it is that's going on in the learning in their classroom and their insights into how they achieve what they achieve. These are teachers who really do deliver this curriculum effectively to all their children. This training has been through several generations of rewrites because everyone who's taken it has input back into it, given their feedback on it, and we've improved it all the way. And the key aspect of the feedback is teachers coming away saying, you know, in the past I've had children who have left my class not very good at maths and I've thought that they were just intrinsically not very good at maths and now I can clearly see how it could and should have been otherwise for every single child. So there are nine core episodes in this series. This is episode one which is the introduction. All the episodes are super quick. Episode two is about the work you need to do when children first start with you to check that they're ready to learn maths. Episodes three, four, and five are about number in the first, second, and third half term. Episode six is about your foundational work on fraction. Episode seven is about number in the fourth half term. Episode eight is about the characteristics of objects and shape to get children ready to thrive in their study of shape, space, and measure during primary school. And finally, episode nine is about number in the final term and ties up the odds and ends of this series. This series doesn't tell you how to teach. It doesn't tell you whether you should use teacher-led activities or whether children should be self-directing their learning or whether they should be indoors or outdoors or using natural objects or pretty sparkly plastic objects. But after the end of these core nine episodes, I'll invite in some experts using different teaching methodologies, different pedagogies, to explain them to you, to help you make the decisions 
that you feel are right for you and your school and the children that you teach about those aspects of teaching. So don't worry if all of this seems a little overwhelming at this stage, I am going to take you through it all step by step and I've not had anyone yet who's come away and said, oh, that was too difficult. So if you'd like to take this journey with us, please subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button and then you'll be able to find us again. And if you'd like the free simple term per page flexible planning guide that goes with this series, you can download that for free in the Expert Primary Maths Teacher Planning Group on Facebook. So let's get going with episode two, which is all about what you need to do in your first few weeks of meeting your class. I'm Rebecca the Maths Lady, here to help you love your maths teaching. Have a great day.